Chapter 10, The Final Fight. The Phantom had disappeared once again. Bond had gotten his pen dart back together along with his keys. Double O's Letty put his hand in his pocket and held the zipline ready for action. Just then, two arms came around Double O's Letty's neck. The Phantom had wrapped a tie wrap around Double O's Letty's neck, trying to choke him out. Bond noticed that his partner was coughing and choking. Bond quickly then aimed the pen dart and shot it. He hit the arm of the Phantom, and the arms then released Double O Slutty. Double O Slutty then quickly returned to Bond's side and still continued to cough, almost crawling on the ground. The Phantom then started to collapse as well. Are you okay? Bond said. Double O Slutty nodded his head and started to breathe easily. They then turned to talk on how they were going to take the Phantom out. Getting to his feet, the Phantom then staggered off. The spies took out their Walthers and fired, but the villain was out of range. The duo had lowered their weapons and put them back in their shoulder holsters, hidden in their jackets. Bond and Double Lady then started to look around again and realized that there was a crowd watching them with open mouths. Double Lady and Bond looked at each other and bowed like they had finished a performance. The crowd then started to applaud the two spies and ran off. The crowd then started to applaud and the two spies ran off. Soon, park officials came up the walkway in a golf cart-looking vehicle. Bond signaled it and pleaded for them to get out. Bond and Double O Slutty then got in. Believe me, I'll bring it back! We have a bad rep about returning things, Bond, Double O Slutty commented. At least I didn't steal a sled from a little girl and her father. Touché, Mr. Bond. Touché.